ambidentate ligands. What are ambidentate ligands? So, ambidentate ligands are the monodentate ligands which can coordinate with the central atom through more than one side. Actually, ambidentate ligands also have two donor atoms. But the catch is that ambidentate ligands, even though they have two donor atoms, they can donate to the metal through only one atom. Like if we talk about NO2 negative, it's an ambidentate ligand. How is it an ambidentate ligand? In NO2, the donation can occur through nitrogen. When the donation to the metal occurs through nitrogen, then the ligand is known as nitro or nitrito N. And the donation can also occur through oxygen atom. This is the same ligand. Only what is changing is the donor atom. So, in case the donation is uh, happening through oxygen atom, it is known as nitrito or nitrito O. So, this is what an ambidentate ligand is. There are many other examples of ambidentate ligands like we have CN negative. In CN negative, both carbon as well as nitrogen can behave as donors. This is known as cyanide in case the donation is happening through carbon atom and in case the donation is happening through nitrogen atom. The ligand is known as isocyanide. Another example is SCN negative. SCN negative is another example of ambidentate ligand. In SCN negative, both sulfur as well as nitrogen can act as donor atoms. If sulfur acts, to donor, acts as a donor atom and donates to the metal, it is known as thiocyanato. And if nitrogen donates, then the ligand is known as isothiocyanato. So, the question based upon this is that among the given list, we have to select the ambidentate ligand. So, to select the ambidentate ligand, let us know, look at what the structures of all of these will be. So, first is NO3 negative. NO3 negative looks like this. Then, let us do SO3. SO3 looks like this. Then we have SO42 negative. SO42 negative then SO3 2 negative. So SO3 2 negative is now the important thing for a ligand to function as an ambidentate ligand uh, is that at least two of its atoms should behave as donor atoms and how will that be possible if two of its different atoms have a lone pair or have at least a negative charge then it can behave as an ambidentate ligand because only then it can donate to the metal atom obviously so let's start with no3 if you look at no3 nitrogen does not have any lone pairs left and nitrogen does not have any negative charge either the negative charge resides only with oxygen. So, only oxygen can act as the donating atom. So, no, this is not the ambidentate ligand. Then, let us go to SO3. In SO3, again, if you talk about sulfur, sulfur has no lone pairs left. Sulfur has no negative charge. So, obviously, how will it donate to the metal atom? So, this will also not behave as an ambidentate ligand. Now, let us look at SO4 2 negative. In SO42 negative, oxygen has negative charges. Okay, oxygen can donate to the metal atom. But to classify it as an ambidentate ligand, there should be another atom which should donate. So, does sulfur donate? 
let's look at that sulfur has no negative charges sulfur has no lone pair so you cannot do it so it will also not act as an ambidentic ligand that leaves out with option d so obviously if three are incorrect option d is correct but let us look at how so3 two negative is correct so in so3 two negative both of the oxygens have a negative charge so donation can happen through oxygen atom but sulfur also has a lone pair of electrons so the donation can also occur through sulfur atom so in case of this both sulfur as well as oxygen can donate electrons to the metal atom therefore your option d is correct the next question is can co act as an ambidentate ligand so let's look at what co looks like So on first look carbon has a lone pair oxygen atom also has a lone pair so it should act as an ambidentate ligand if we follow all the rules of chemistry but the beauty of chemistry is there are always exceptions to rules which were previously stated whether that's the beauty of chemistry or the limitation of chemistry that's up to you but this is an exception in this case both carbon as well as oxygen has lone pair of electrons but even though they both have lone pair of electrons the donation happens only through carbon atom oxygen cannot donate the electron pair to the empty orbitals of the metal the reason lies in molecular orbital theory so again everything in chemistry is interconnected so according to molecular orbital theory the lone pair resides in an orbital which is much lower in energy than the orbital of the metal as the lone pair of the oxygen is in an orbital which is much lower in energy than the orbital of the metal so it is not possible for oxygen to donate the electrons into the metal's orbital whereas carbon's lone pair lies in an orbital which is closer to the metal's orbital therefore carbon can donate the electrons whereas oxygen cannot donate the electrons even though it looks like it should function as an ambidentate ligand so it looks like it should function as an ambidentate ligand but it does not function as an ambidentate ligand mm -hmm.